hi everyone and welcome back so in this video i'm just going to give a quick overview what we are going to do in the next couple of videos this is a github repository for uber eats clone app and i'm using this branch naming convention so you can follow up the videos i'm going to prefix them with the 0 1 0 2 something like that 0 1 baseline then 0 2 setup 0 3 uh, this particular service 0 4 that particular service something like that so so it's easy to follow up like uh, what all code i'm pushing okay so regarding our packages this is what we decided we are going to create couple of more packages and what i i have decided is we are going to write swelled kit and next js uh, end user application they are going to talk to the api gateway this is just nothing but a node.js nest.js graphql middleware this is going to be the apollo federation middleware that is going to forward you, uh, your request to all the different rest api services so it's like it is going to compose the graphql schemas from different services to the front end so all the front end so this is a single point of contact and you are going to expose all the graphql schema from this gateway only so we need a gateway service authentication service for now we will start with the username password authentication with the roles we are going to manage the different roles like restaurant admin end user a root user who is onboarding the restaurant admins because let's say i got a contract with another restaurant so we need to do the restaurant onboarding the restaurant admin can use this swelled kit dashboard app to manage the menu items to put the information about the restaurant its menus its category of different menus and the end user will be a simple they can use a username password to log into application buy food something like that so we can add a couple of more packages uh, lana create So we need uh, gateway service and then we need auth service and then we need restaurant service. These services which I can think of, these three services more we need to add. And first, first of all, we are going to work with the next JS SSR application. We are going to add authentication layer there and this authentication for the authentication to work end to end, we need to write auth service in nest JS. That will be using Postgres database. Okay, so let's create auth service. That will be using just a simple user management repository will be there. That will be managing the uh, users like login, logout, reset password. We can use the notification service to send the notifications on, on the reset password to send a different kind of notifications on the user onboarding okay so here let's create a simple user service and then we will also create a restaurant service and we can just talk about simple token based authentication i want to use auth0 here auth0 is providing auth2.0 protocol using which we can uh, have we can delegate the authentication and authorization to auth0 that maybe we can adopt in future by replacing this auth service with uh, auth0 but with authentication and authorization with auth0 that is also plain and simple and we should use it authentication service because currently i am not looking for authenticating using mobile number and the otp because i need to buy a twilio service that is again a costly i wanted to go with minimal setup for this product design then in future we can plug and play the other third party services like auth0 twilio sendgrid uh, confluent for kafka and all the other third party vendor services where they are providing the whole managed solution we don't need to manage anything okay so we have all these packages ready uh, what i will do is i will set up a docker compose also because for authentication service first of all we are going to work on two things next js ssr front end app which is where we are going to create a login sign up and login page we need to write a protected route so that 
uh, and public routes. Public route will be uh, where user is searching for the restaurant and we need to work on two services. Auth service for user onboarding and the restaurant service who is going to interact with Elasticsearch for populating the data for the user search. So it's like our path will be here, restaurant service, end user po uh, portal in the next JS, Apollo Federation middleware, which is talking to auth service and the restaurant service. I'm not saying that I'm going to design this in like, okay, in five hours or six hours, the Swiggy clone application, which you see on the YouTube or anywhere else. This is a real product and lot of learning is associated with that. So it's going to be a little slow. When I have more time, I will be pub able to publish more and more videos. But these videos will be full of learning for myself because I'm trying to learn Svelte Kit from this whole setup and the Apollo Federation, how they are composing the GraphQL schemas coming from different REST services and how we are going to deal with Next.js with the GraphQL client, Svelte Kit with the GraphQL client. Okay, stay tuned. Let's connect in the next video.